Hello friends, this video on 3 dimensional geometry part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 19. Now let's take the third scenario where we have the plane and that passes through three non-collinear points. So I have my this XYZ plane, I have three points. Correct? So let's say another point. So let's assume that this one, the red is R vector, general vector. And this point let be A and this vector be B vector and this vector be C. So I have three points given, A, B and C are three points. And let R be a general point, correct? So this vector, if you see, is b minus a vector. Similarly, this vector is what? c minus a vector. So if you see this guy is c vector minus a vector, right? c vector. C sorry a vector minus c vector this guy right and this guy is uh, this guy is a this guy is b b plus a minus b this guy is a vector minus b vector now the cache here is and this is r so this guy will be a minus r vector right yeah this becomes a vector, yeah. So this guy is a vector, this guy is b vector, this guy is my c vector, right? So this guy becomes a minus b vector, this guy becomes my a minus c vector, right? Plus c vector plus a minus c vector will give you a vector. Everything is all set. Now what we can do is, if we can take a cross product of this and this because they are in the same plane, I will find something which is perpendicular to this plane. Correct. So one vector which is perpendicular to this plane may be coming out, let's suppose. Some vector which is perpendicular to this guy and this guy, right? On that, if I do a dot product of this vector a minus r, because a minus r is also in this plane now, I get 0. Hope you understand me. See, this guy that is coming out is nothing but cross product of these two guys a minus b cross a minus c. Correct? Now this guy will be perpendicular to this guy. Correct? a minus r. So if I say a minus r dot this guy, whole thing, a minus b cross a minus c, that will be equal to 0 and this is the equation of the plane passing through three coordinate points. A minus R doesn't look good so I'll make it R minus A because it's find the same thing it, it makes 0 another day so you'll say R minus A dot A minus B vector cross A minus C vector equals this is the equation of this plane which passes through three points a b and c correct now let's see the same thing in the uh, cartesian form to do that we'll use the same formula which we derived here so we derive that r minus a dot a minus b cross a minus c is equal to 0, right? So let's assume r will be xi plus yj plus zk unknown, a v a1 i plus or let this be a b x1, x1 i y1 j cap plus z1 k cap. B, B, 
x to i plus y to j cap plus z to k cap and c b x3 y3 and z3 these are known points this is a variable correct so same formula we will use this is r minus a that is x minus x1 i plus y minus y1 j cap plus z minus z1 k cap dot this thing dot of cross product of a minus b and a minus c that is i j k a minus b i'll get this guy as uh, x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2 z1 minus z2 and a minus c i'll get x1 minus x3 here x1 minus x3 y1 minus y3 and z1 minus z3 this is what i'll get this is matrix so if you solve this this is what you get as x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2 z1 minus z2 x1 minus x3 y1 minus y3 and z1 minus z3 this is the equation again so there is a special note on this uh, plane passing through three points that i want to stress is this three point has to be non collinear please note if they are collinear there can be n number of planes passing through this if you see this is plane 1 plane 2 plane 3 plane 4 all these plane passes through these three points they will not be any unique no unique plane no unique plane if points are collinear right so therefore all these three points has to be non collinear only if they are non collinear then only we can form a plane from three points so when you say that i want to form a plane from three points then these three points has to be non collinear let's take some examples of this you define the equation of plane that passes through these points 1 1 minus 1 6 4 minus 5 and minus 4 minus 2 and minus 3 as i told that these three points has to be collinear then only you can find the plane right so first we will check for collinear If it is collinear, then we will proceed. So, a play, a, a three points are collinear if you get uh, 0 as the area of the triangle formed by this, right? So, we 1, 1, minus 1, 6, 4, minus 5, 4, minus 2, 3. If this value is 0, 1, minus 1, this guy, 6, 4, minus 4, this guy, minus 4, minus 2, minus 3, this guy. If this guy is 0, that means the lines are, these points are collinear. So let's try to find the value of this. This becomes 1 into 12 minus 10 minus 1 into 18 plus 18 minus 20 minus again 1 into, this guy is minus, minus 1 into 18, sorry minus 12 plus 8 so this is nothing but 2 this will become minus plus 2 and this will become minus 12 plus 8 is minus 4 and this is 0 since it is 0 that means all these points are collinear because the area of the triangle form is 0 and thus I can say that I can't create a unique plane with this bounds. Correct? 
this is clear that means i can't create a unique point with this plane uh, with this point because these three points are non collinear sorry collinear yeah. these points are collinear so we can't create it has to be non collinear so that only we can create the plane let's take some example we are to again find the uh, equation of the plane the first thing check for collinearity So to do this, I'll take this guy one one zero. This guy one two one and minus two two and minus one. Let's find the value of this. So if you find this becomes one into minus two minus two. That is minus four minus one into one into two 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 plus four six. Right. One into minus two, minus two minus four, and this guy is minus one, minus one, and minus two. That is minus three. This is minus seven. That is not equal to zero. Correct? Yeah, this is not equal to zero. Since it is not equal to zero, I can say that. these are non collinear points and i can create a unique plane with these points okay to do this i can directly use the uh, equation which we got that is x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 here i think i got x one minus x two, y one minus y two, z one minus z two. Here we got x one minus x three, y one minus y three, and z one minus z three. Okay, this is equal to zero. Let's put the values. X minus x one is this guy. One. Y minus y one is this guy. One. Z minus Z one is zero. X one minus X two, that is one minus one zero. Y one minus Y two, one minus two is minus one. Z one minus Z two, one minus zero minus one is minus one. Then you have X one minus X three, one minus minus two, that is three. Then you have Y one minus Y three, one minus two, minus one. And z one minus z three zero minus minus one that is one. Correct. This is equal to zero. Let's solve this. This becomes x minus one into minus one minus one minus one. That is zero minus one minus minus one. Sorry, minus one minus one minus y minus one into zero. Minus minus three that is plus three, right? Plus z into zero minus minus three that is plus three. Correct. So this comes out to be this comes out to be a solve it here. Minus two into x minus one. Then we have minus three into y minus one plus three z is equal to zero. Or you solve this, you get two x plus three y minus three z is equal to five, and that is my answer. So what you see, what I have done first thing, I check for collinearity. I found that these are non-collinear. Since they are non-collinear, I can create the equation. So my equation is nothing but this guy, and I just solved. Now, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.